Hi. This video is part of a series in which I learn about programming a retro video game on the Commodore 64 in assembly. The code I'm using is from the game Supernatural, written by Georg Rottensteiner. You may also know the game as Guns and Ghosts. This is not a tutorial, just me learning game programming. Enjoy the video. Coders, howdy doody. Uh, I don't know, step 30, isn't it? Uh, we're going to change a little bit uh, in the um, uh, name entry for uh, when you uh, reach the high score table. The goal is to have the high score table uh, during the name entry look like the title screen. So the top half being the uh, uh, the high res graphics and the lower half text uh, screen. And we also want to have a cursor, which we didn't have in the in the previous version. So this involves making some changes uh, to the code. So it's not new code; it's just an um, a patch, basically, on the old code. We're going to reuse some of the stuff that we already had, uh, namely switching on the title screen RQ. If you don't know what I'm talking about go back to that episode where we talk about the the title screen and the high score table handling the high score table is uh, a complex ish matter we won't go into that in this video but we will go into how the the changes look um for entering the name um and without Going in too much detail, I'm going to get you back to the point where we have decided that the 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 score is higher. So we've managed a score that is higher than a score in the high score table is higher. So what do we do? We shift the old entries down and add a new one. We copy the score. Uh, Copy score net next digits. We set the new score, new scores next digit. We copy the name, blah de blah. Copy da, da 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 da. Set new name. Add a new name offset so we know where we have to look. And we found the na new name offset. And uh, we clear the characters, and that's where the name entry starts. That's here. Um. So. Um, I don't know exactly at this moment what the parameter values are, but we will deduce it um, uh, from the context. <clears throat> so the parameter one is the line number. Uh, uh, I know this because we're adding 10 and the uh, high score table is 10 lines under the under the top line. Um, so we set the zero page point of four to the correct location. We prepare the display. So we, uh, we're, we're aiming to shut off, shut off the sprites and start the, the interrupt um, because that interrupt will, will say supernatural in uh, high res graphics mode on the top half of the screen and uh, um, will set off the whole raster interrupt thing to switch between high res mode and text mode. So we turn off the sprites, uh, we clear the screen. Uh, so uh, character 32, color zero, clear the screen. Um, then we display enter your name in a certain location. Um, uh, this is now easy by pointing the zero page pointer one, add uh, a certain text, enter your name, and then setting the uh, X and Y coordinates and calling display text. So that's quite easy. There is a bit of text uh, that was printed. Uh, there was a bit of code that printed the text. I think it said enter your name or something uh, uh, below the high score. High res stuff, that code was deleted. But that was just, uh, there's other cleanups in this version of the code, but it's all uh, removing spaces and empty lines and so it's not interesting to look at uh, but that one was interesting because that was a bit a bit of code that was being executed and had no no meaning at all so 
we just displayed the text enter your name so that the player is uh, prompted to enter his name um, now we display the scores which is the same thing we set uh, the coordinates point the pointer uh, at high score score and display the text now this is important because uh, the high score table is divided in two sections a scores section and a name section this is the score section and we can only do this really after we have um uh, no, here's what i want to say uh, um because there is no other place in memory than the display memory where the score resides so we have to check whether the score that is on the screen is actually the high score while it is on the screen i can't clear the screen and then go checking the high score so but we've done that already right so uh we're displaying the scores and this is where the init title irq is called this is a function that already exists and all it does is it sets off well remember 907 and we'll jump there let's uh, have a look it calls a wait frame function that just waits for the raster line to be out of uh, out of uh, screen. Uh, it says some registers, but what is most important that it it sets a line number, a raster line number. So that is uh, a bitwise um, raster line, not a text line. Um, hexadecimal ten in DO eleven, and we clear the. Uh, uh, the most significant bit of that because that's nine bits because there's more raster lines that fit in one byte and we set the um raster interrupt at irq set bitmap mode so at this line 10 which is still off screen it's in the border we set bitmap mode so as soon as this function is done the vic knows that when we hit line number 10, we call this routine, IRQ set bitmap mode. What does that do? We go there. Um, we acknowledge the IRQ. We have to do that. And we immediately set um, IRQ text mode, but on a different line, line number 70, which is lower down. So at the end of where we want the high res mode to be, we set the next IRQ, which is text mode. So we jump there. So as soon as we hit that line, poof, it's text mode. And text mode sets it back to IRQ mode on line 10. So you get this uh, changing thing where um, in each frame at line 10, we get uh, high res mode. Then at line 70, we get text mode. And we get text mode and then we get line 10, blah, 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 each frame over and over. So scrolling back to where this whole thing is kicked off, 907, there we are. So at this point, we're getting to enter the name, but the top half of the screen is now all of a sudden high res mode and it says supernatural. Now, um, at that moment, we set some parameters and we jump to show character, which is inside a loop basically entering uh the text is calling um a kernel routine actually to read the keyboard for a uh, for a character and it's important to know that this routine doesn't wait for input All right so it just continues operation and that is important for the next reason we, get, we we jump into this loop by jumping to show character now this is not new code right this this code was already uh, here so what, what show character does, it displays the, the name part of the, um, of the high score table. We'd already shown the score part. That doesn't change anymore, but the name part does. So in each frame, the name part is being displayed. We just set the pointer, call display text, and it does that, and it jumps to get next character. So that's the first thing it does. It draws the, the names. Then it goes to get next character, which again... Um, well, the first thing that this does is um, blink the cursor. Now, um, currently, this is done in every frame, so you're going to get a bit of a nervous blink. It's not like an easy blink. If we wanted that, we need we would have to build uh, some sort of a delay, which isn't done at the moment. 
But there's something very interesting. Um, zero page point of four points at the current location, which is where we want the, um, the cursor to be. Now, I'm going to switch. Um, hold on. I'm going to switch to the character uh tyler we open the character project because there's something that we have to know our cursor is this one and it's character number 91 this is just decimal 91 yeah and our space is here no here no here yes this is our space 32 so we want to be switching between 91 and 32. 91 and 32. And I'm going to show you a weird trick which has sort of a mathematical background and I am not entirely sure why this works. But it does, okay? Um, basically, a zero page point of four points at the offset where we where our cursor is. We add six to compensate for the six spaces that are in front of the uh, of the high score table. And every time, in every frame, we load the character that is there. Well, there's going to be a space, like in the first time that we do that. And we exclusive or that with 123. <coughs> now, 123 is 32 plus 91, right? So 123 is the sum of 32 and 91. And remember that those are the character codes, the, the display codes that we were using. And then it stores the result in that location. Now, the rest is all the same. We just get the character. We check if enter is pressed, yes or no, delete. This is nothing, nothing has changed here, but it's the flashing of this cursor. Basically, all of, all of this this step all of this episode is about what we've seen until now so we we call the uh, the the internet uh, the the interrupt routine at the correct moment and we blink the cursor um so so the first time 32 is uh, exclusive ord with 123 the result of that is 91 on the next pass of this routine in the next frame um, the value that the accumulator will have is 91. We, ex we exclusive or that again with the sum of these two numbers, and we get 32. And that goes uh, each way, uh, every frame. So in this uh, magical way, we get a flashing cursor in some kind of uh, way. Now, my... my Next question then is immediately, hey, does that work for every sum, All right? <laughs> um, and it turns out that it doesn't. Uh, I tried some arbitrary numbers like 5 and 7, right? Uh, together is 12. And if you exclusive or 5 and 12, you don't get 7. Um, but it, it does work with 5 and 8. So I'm not, a t not entirely... I know that exclusive or can be seen as a half adder and uh, it, it can it has many um, uh, alternate uses like it's it's a bit flipper and you can you can make uh, you, uh, you, when you ex exclusive or a value with itself it's, uh, the result is always zero and you can use all that but this is sort of a coincidence because 32 and 91 equal 123 now character 123 if we go back uh is like uh this character but we don't we never see this character on the screen so that's just a value but these two have a special relationship and so if anyone can tell me what the like the collection of integers is for which this is true like you can exclusive or between them uh you by using the sum uh, please let me know because I'd like to know for which number that is. My suspicion is that it has to do, I mean, 32 is just a, a byte with one bit set. And that bit is not set in 91. And the same goes for 5 and 8. 8 is a one uh, high bit value. 
I was also thinking maybe it has something to do with the uh, even or odd number of high bits in a, uh, or that they just shouldn't match like different bits. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that's what it does. Um, there is one more thing, uh, and that is uh, that in the title screen we need a different. See if I can find it. We need a different entry into the title screen. Uh, hold on, I'll uh, I'll have to look in uh, in meld here. Right. Right. Uh, oh, that's just title screen. Let's uh, see if I can find that quickly. Luckily, we can now have a title screen. Right. We need a way into the title screen that doesn't uh, set the IRQ, especially when it's already been set. So at the end of, uh, of setting the name, of course, we, um, we want to jump into the title screen with the real title screen, but without setting the, uh, the title IRQ because we've already done that. So basically, there's a new label here that lets me jump in here without setting the, the IRQ again. So, um, I don't think I have a joystick connected at the moment. Uh, no, I don't. So, I'll have to do it with, uh, with the keys. I don't know if that will work. But let's see. Uh, we have to have a score of 10. Okay. Uh, our score is 10 now. So, 20 gets us into the high score table. So, I'll kill myself. One life gone. Another life gone. See now we get into the uh, into the the screen. You can see that the cursor is flashing like mad because it's getting uh, an update every frame. So that needs uh, a changing by, by adding a delay. But we do get like supernatural uh, the uh, the high res bit, and we get the text bit, and we get the enter your name, and we can type in uh, Highlander. We press enter and then we go into the title screen now you didn't see any change except that we get the the color fade now but that was possible because we could jump into the title screen routine without setting the iq again so that ladies and gentlemen is the meat and potatoes of this episode i'm gonna thank you for watching again and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye